answers to creativity questions that you're unsure to ask. The concept of creativity may be something we're all familiar with, but it's often too vague and hard to define. That is also one of the reasons why there are so many misconceptions about it. Today's post is all about creativity questions and answers to make it easier for you to understand the entire concept. I hope this will help you in your creative endeavors. What is the meaning of creativity? Creativity isn't something that can be boiled down to a simple definition. It's difficult to truly grasp the concept of creativity and to form a concrete idea of what it means. Creativity is seen in everyday life. It's seen in art, design, and business. It's seen in the way people dress, how they think, and how they act. Creativity is not something that you can easily classify, but it's something that you can learn about. How many traits define creativity? There are several traits associated with creativity. One trait is divergent thinking which refers to generating multiple solutions to a problem. Another trait is fluency which refers to how fast someone comes up with creative ideas. Finally, another trait is flexibility, which means switching from one idea to another without getting stuck. The importance of creativity. Creative thinking has been defined as the ability to generate ideas that go beyond what is already known or expected. It is an essential skill because it helps us solve problems and make decisions. It can even be used to improve our lives. What is the importance of creativity? Creativity is the key to success. If we want to succeed in our careers, or in any aspect of our lives, we need to learn how to use creativity. And when we do, we'll find ourselves on top of any situation because we'll be able to think of new approaches and solutions. We'll be able to adapt to changing conditions and overcome obstacles. This way, we'll be able to achieve our goals. In addition to being successful in our professional lives, creativity is important because it helps us develop better relationships with other people. When we express our feelings and thoughts through art, music, dance, writing, etc., we feel happier and healthier. Moreover, we gain confidence by doing things we enjoy. Why is creativity important in business? Businesses thrive when they are innovative. They are constantly looking for new ways to create products and services that meet their customers' needs. So, if your company wants to stay competitive, it must keep up with the times and innovate. To do so, it needs to encourage its people to be creative. To foster innovation, companies should give their people opportunities to explore their creativity. For example, they could offer training programs that teach employees how to brainstorm, design, test, implement, etc. Why is creativity important for students? Creative students tend to perform better than those who aren't. They also have higher levels of self-confidence and self-esteem. They are more likely to get good grades in school. Creativity boosts academic performance. How can creativity help students? When students are creative, it's easier for them to develop original ideas. They're able to see things from multiple perspectives. They're able to analyze information and draw conclusions. These skills will help them succeed in school and later in life. Why is creativity important in art? Creative thinking enables new perspectives. They break old patterns and allow us to think outside the box. And that's what makes creativity so special in art. It gives artists the chance to see things from a whole new angle. Artistic creations, after all, stem from imagination, which is the jumping off point for creativity. Creative thinking is a lot like a superpower. It enables us to see things from a different perspective, breaking away from conventional patterns and allowing us to think outside the box. Creative thinking is special in art because it enables artists to imagine new possibilities or see old ideas in new ways. Why is creativity important in entrepreneurship? As an entrepreneur, you'll need to be able to solve problems quickly and efficiently to make sure your business stays afloat. But sometimes, there will be no apparent solution to a problem. In these cases, you'll need to think creatively and be able to come up with original ideas that you can test. How can creativity help entrepreneurship? The ability to think creatively helps entrepreneurs come up with solutions to problems. This means they're less likely to fall into ruts and become stuck. Instead, they'll be able to find new ways to approach challenges and find success. How does creativity help in problem solving? Problem solving is about coming up with a plan or strategy that works. It requires us to think logically, analytically, and creatively to come up with practical solutions to a problem. While logic is essential, creativity allows us to look at a problem from different angles. By using our creativity, we can generate ideas that others might not have thought of. How does creativity help in life? 
When we see everything around us as they are, and as a result, we tend to overlook many possibilities, including the solutions to the most pressing problems we may have. When we lack creativity, we only see very few sides of any issue. We don't immediately notice the several other ways to approach a situation. Instead, we focus on one idea and try to apply it to every situation. This narrow perspective prevents us from seeing the bigger picture and leads to missed opportunities and wasted chances. Why is creativity important in a workplace? Creativity is an interesting trait that can give people an advantage in many situations. When you're creating something new or doing something you haven't done before, you're using your creativity. However, in work environments, creativity helps to improve the quality of work, enhance marketing, and develop products. When trying to establish a new idea or solution, you have to be creative. It could be coming up with the next big tech company or a more effective marketing strategy. While it's not always easy to be creative, there are plenty of ways you can enhance your creativity. How does creativity help in the workplace? In the workplace, creativity can help you create better products, services, and experiences for customers. It can also help you build stronger relationships between employees and management. For example, if you're working on a project together, you can use creativity to brainstorm ideas and get everyone involved. If you're having trouble getting along with someone, you can use creativity to understand their point of view and figure out how to resolve conflicts. Why is creativity important in teaching? Creativity is an essential skill for the classroom. Students are not only able to understand concepts better when presented creatively, but teachers are also able to teach in more effective and entertaining ways. Who said creativity is intelligence having fun? There are several speculations on who said the quote first. Many reference Albert Einstein. However, according to the quote investigator, there's no substantive evidence that the physicist ever said these words. The quote may have been an evolved form of a sentence taken from a Harvard Magazine article, which George Scalaba wrote. Perhaps imagination is only intelligence having fun. George Scalaba. It was only in 1992 when the exact phrase, creativity is intelligence having fun, appeared in print. In, Success. The original handbook, a book written by Joey Ryman, Ryman mentioned the exact words. That's what creativity is, intelligence having fun. Joey Ryman. How does creativity work? The process of creativity is complex. There are different theories regarding how creativity works. Some believe that creativity is based on randomness, while others say it has a logical basis. According to some psychologists, creativity involves divergent thinking and convergent thinking. Divergent thinking is the ability to come up with new ideas or solutions to problems. Convergent thinking is the ability of someone to combine ideas into a cohesive whole. Where does creativity come from? Several theories revolve around where creativity comes from. One idea says that creativity comes from the unconscious mind. Another theory suggests that creativity is learned through experience. Still, another theory states that creativity is innate. While all of these theories are correct, none of them are entirely accurate. Although we don't know precisely where creativity comes from, we know it exists. Are creative abilities innate or acquired? While it is true that creativity can be innate, this doesn't mean that everyone is born creative. Rather, it means that every person possesses the basic building blocks for creativity. These building blocks include the ability to imagine, understand abstract concepts, and problem-solve. Everyone has the potential to become more creative as long as they continue to practice their abilities. Where does creativity grow? People often ask if creativity grows or shrinks over time. This question is hard to answer because we don't know how much creativity is needed to reach a certain level of success. What we do know is that no one becomes completely creative overnight. Instead, creativity takes time to develop. We also know that many factors influence creativity, including environment, genetics, personality, and culture. Are creativity and intelligence related? Many people think that creativity and intelligence are closely linked. Some even say that creativity is just a form of intelligence. The truth is that we don't know to what extent creativity and intelligence are related. Still, it seems like creativity and intelligence are somehow connected. How does creativity affect innovation? Many people believe that creativity makes innovation more likely to happen. Others think that creativity inhibits innovation. Regardless of which side you fall on, it's clear that creativity and innovation play an essential role in human societies. Can creativity be taught? Researchers have identified various methods for teaching people how to become more creative. 
These include training programs, workshops, and online courses. Are creativity and imagination still important? As long as humans exist, they will need creativity and imagination. In fact, some experts claim that creativity and imagination are even more critical now than ever before. Because technology is advancing at an unprecedented rate. Today, computers are capable of performing almost any task a human being could perform, but one of the things that technology cannot replicate at this time is creativity. That's why we must continue to develop ways to teach people how to think creatively. As you can see, there are many creativity questions that you are probably afraid, or unsure, to ask. Hopefully, this list of questions will help you better understand creativity and inspire you to explore this topic further. Got a question that is not on this list? Let me know by commenting below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're rolling out tons of content about productivity, self-improvement, and motivation in the next few weeks, so stay tuned. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.